gorgeous couple here with us live in studio. Adam and Caprice are here. And we want to talk a little bit about what happens when the two worlds collide. <laughs> we've all been there, you know. Have you guys had any issues with um, sort of put, moving all of your stuff together? I think we, we definitely did initially because yeah. I'm more of a let's get rid of it. And she's more of a wait a second, I paid money for this. We oh, need to hang on to this and find a place for it. Right. So, But there was one thing that, that we, we kind of actually struggled over because I thought I, I had this really cool throw pillow. And I don't, I don't normally say that, but it was a really cool <laughs> throw pillow that I had, and it was Star Wars themed. I would, oh, I, I, how, I would, are I you mean, sure it was yeah. cool? Was it cool, Caprice? I would use that loosely. Um, <laughs> no, it definitely did not go with the decor. Yeah. It's fine for a bachelor pad, mm -hmm. but you know, now we're both there. It's both our space, and I felt like the Star Wars pillows for the living room couch had to go. <laughs> I understand right, that. Rightfully so. Yeah, it's sweet that you say it's good for a bachelor pad because it's not. Let's get some advice from you guys about what they can think about when it comes to merging their stuff. I think the best thing to do is have a plan before you actually move in together and actually take pictures, measure things, and do a floor plan because what's important is to say to somebody, what do you love? Mm -hmm. What do you love that you have to bring with you? He loves the Star Wars pillow, though. <laughs> Honestly, I would actually say bring the Star Wars pillow, and what I would do is I would have made a cover for it, and then a few times a year I'd be like, surprise, I didn't get rid of it. Aww. And then I'd take the pillow and cover it off, Smart. and it would still be there. Oh, okay. then the rest of the year, by the way, I would cover it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. okay, so what do but you love? What do you love and bring that with you? Because it's all about scale because yeah. you can't put everything in the same yeah. room together because it won't work even though they might be two beautiful pieces right but it's important to have the things that are important to you it could have been from your granny or it could have been something sentimental and you want to have those things in your home because okay. it makes your house a home for sure it yeah. gives it some personality yeah. shy what do you think in terms of advice for the young couple you know I always say pull back to zero so bring back to nothing and then yeah. start and when I say start again and pull back to zero don't get rid of everything but really kind of do inventory see what you have very similar to what you're yeah. saying and then say you know what these two things will work together this might have to go in storage. You were saying that you don't have a locker in your condo. We don't. No. Which is a problem, especially in the larger cities. I mean, lockers are really important storage. And if you mm -hmm. don't have that, it's going to be about your parents' basement. It's yeah. going to be about... <laughs> or, or, yeah. 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 Or donating. I mean, yeah. this is a great time to kind of purge and donate and, yeah. and things that, you know, might, might not work together. Donate them to families who are less fortunate. And, they're, and you know, this is the perfect time for it for the holiday season. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. okay, Danielle, so the true. minimalist in you must be thinking, throw yeah. everything out. Well, you and know, <laughs> me are the same page. <laughs> First of all, who's bossier? <laughs> Is there a I know this answer. I already know this. I'm not even. <laughs> <laughs> I totally already Dang know the answer to this. <laughs> shy? Who is it? I'm not saying that. The bossy or the shy? <laughs> sometimes in a couple, there is one person who's a lot more opinionated about stuff, and so sometimes you can kind of like defer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's just wishful thinking on my part. No. Yeah. But actually, exactly what you guys have been saying. One thing I read a long time ago was get rid of everything. Don't throw it out. Just take it all out and then only put back in what you absolutely need and you absolutely love. Mm -hmm. Everything else, donate. And yeah. then if that doesn't that. work, hire a designer. Because <laughs> they can be that intermediary so that you don't, because sometimes it's hard for a couple to come together and make these decisions True. together. That's right. But then it's good, because yeah. I always say that in every you know project that we do, I always make sure people have wins. Mm. So I actually take the couple aside independently and say, what's your win on this project? What's your win? And I make sure they get their wins. That's right. a psychologist. It is. Yeah. 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 But then everybody feels good. Because yeah. yes. you may have given something up, but you got yeah. your wins. That's an amazing feeling. Mm -hmm. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. So for us, it was a it was a matter of need. I had probably my parents the first bed they bought in Canada, so that led us all the way. I had that all the way through university and then wow. into our first home. Finally, it was like get rid of the bed. <laughs> <laughs> like we need to get a proper bed. Okay, fine. Um, but we also had his forest green. You know, I'm you know where I'm going somewhere ugly here. Yes. <laughs> his forest green plates and flatware from university. Mm. Mm. It lasted oh. way too long, guys. <laughs> like we had those. I don't even want to admit when we got rid of those. So unless you and, and what you find in a couple when you're building a life together is you hold on, you hold on until you don't need to anymore. Mm -hmm. So be good about getting rid of stuff and you and you two will be fine. Yeah, we got some work to do. A little bit more. It's, it's always those things that never die. Yes, yes right? we have a few of those things that never, the <laughs> plants that never die. Yeah. We have <laughs> <laughs> right now. Are they actually. Star Wars? Uh, yeah. They're not Star Wars, no, <laughs> I promise you that. We're allowed to have them for now. It's okay. <laughs>